Good morning, dear students. Today we are to study lesson 3 of geometry, the area of the square. What is the square? The square is a quadrilateral in which all sides are equal in length and all angles are uh, right. We studied the perimeter of square in primary 4. Yes, it was perimeter equals side length times 4. Then we can get the side length. Side length equals perimeter dividing by 4. We can get area of the square on two ways. The first way we studied in primary 4 yes it was by knowing the side length of the square yes area equals side length times side length example find the side length of a square whose perimeter is 56 centimeters then find its area side length equal perimeter divided 4 equal 56 divided 4 equal 14 centimeters then area equals side length times itself equal 14 times 14 equal 196 centimeters square the second way by knowing the diagonal length of the square area equal half times diagonal times itself example find the area of a square whose diagonal length is 10 centimeters Area equal half times diagonal times diagonal equal half times 10 times 10 equal 50 centimeter square. Exercises. A square of side length 7 centimeter find its area. Area equal side length times side length equal 7 times 7 equal 49 centimeter square b a square of diagonal length 9 cm find its area area equal half times diagonal times diagonal equal half times 9 times 9 equal 40.5 cm square c if the area of a square is 16 cm square find its side length here we know the area but we don't know the side length. Area equals side length times side length but we know the area is 16. Then we can get from the timetable that 4 times 4 is 16. Then the side length equals 4. Area of the rhombus. The rhombus is a quadrilateral in which all sides are equal in length and its two diagonals are perpendicular and not equal in length. It also has all properties of parallelogram. Perimeter of rhombus is the same of the squares as they have the same property of equality of the four sides. Yes, perimeter equals side length times 4, then the side length equals perimeter divide 4. Area of rhombus on two ways. The first way, knowing the side length and the height. Yes, like the parallelogram. Area of the rhombus equals side length times height. Then we can get the side length by dividing the area by the height. And we can get the height also by dividing area by the side length. The second way, knowing the two diagonal lengths, yes, like the square, area equal half times diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. Notice that here the two diagonals are different, then we denote them by diagonal 1 and diagonal 2. But in the square, it was half times diagonal times diagonal. Here they are different. Then we can get any of them one of two diagonals if we know the area of the rhombus and the other diagonal diagonal one equal area times two dividing by diagonal two 
exercises. Number one, find the area of a rhombus whose side length is 8 cm and its height is 6 cm. Area equal side length times height equal 8 times 6 equal 48 cm square. Side length times height. Number two, find the height of a rhombus of area 54 cm square and the side length 9 cm square. Yes, height equal area dividing by side length 54 divided 9 equal 6 cm. 3. Find the side length of a, of a rhombus whose area 80 cm square and its height is 8 cm. Side length equal area divided height equal 80 divided 8 equal 10 cm. Number four, find the area of a rhombus whose diagonal lenses are seven and six. The two diagonals are seven and six. Area equal half times diagonal one times diagonal two equal half times six times seven or times seven times six equal 21 centimeter square. Number five, Find the diagonal length of a rhombus whose area is 72 cm square and the other diagonal is 9. Here he gave the area and one of its two diagonals. Then can we get the other diagonal? Yes, diagonal 1 equal area times 2 divided diagonal 2. Then 72 times 2 divided 9 equals 16 centimeters. Circumference of the circle. Circumference of a circle means the length of its outline like the perimeter of a polygon. Circumference equal pi times d. d means diameter. And we can get the diameter by dividing circumference by dividing by pi. Pi is a constant ratio all over the world. It has two forms. The decimal form pi equal 3.14 and the fractional form pi equal 22 over 7. Another way, circumference equal 2 times pi times r r mean radius radius equal circumference dividing by 2 pi exercises number one find the circumference of a circle whose diameter length is 8 centimeter pi equal 3.14 yes c equal pi times d equal 3.14 times 8 equal 25.12 centimeters Find the circumference of a, a circle whose radius length is 7 cm and yes pi is 22 over 7. Circumference equal 2 times pi times r equal 2 times 22 over 7 times 7 equal 44 cm. 3. If the circumference of a circle is 66 then find the length of its diameter. Diameter D equal circumference divided by pi, yes. 6 divided by 22 over 7 equal 21. 4. If the circumference of a circle is 36.11 decimeter, find its radius length. Radius R equal circumference divided by 2 pi equal 36.11 dividing by 2 times 3.14 equal 5.75 centimeters.